It is coming up to ten minutes to nine. Now, when childhood friends Sarah Dannon and Karen Woodward formed girl group Banana Rama in the 1980s, they took the charts by storm. So now, four decades later, they're showing no signs of stopping and have now released new music and embarking on a tour to celebrate 40 years in the industry. Let's take a look at some of the greatest hits. Oh, go on then, reminisce. <laughs> Again. What was that? That what, was only what? in September. OK. That was uh, the Radio, Radio two. 2 live. What was that like? In Leicester. Fantastic. Was, yeah. I could not believe how brilliant. So much fun. Yeah. I know you say that about everything. Because Kylie really was, was headlining, great. that was there, wasn't she? Yeah, she was on the, the next day night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing you. Had... You, like, you guys look like you were just having so much we fun. Always have a ball properly on bossing yeah. it on the stage. Yeah. yeah. Which, uh, old hands. <laughs> what? So how do you go about? So a gig like that. How did you go about choosing the playlist? What what goes first? What's you, the what's you, the one that you know is? Is there a kind of banker in terms of your? I think there's, there's, a, there's a final definitely four. Yeah, a banker at the end. It's like Venus, Love in the First Degree, Robert, Robert De Niro. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you keep those back. Yes, as yes. Well. Kind of, we've got so much to choose from. Yes, of course you have. <laughs> but what's the opening? Is there one you always start with? Um, Nathan Jones is quite good. It's got a great intro, and so but we, we'll probably change that up for next year. Yeah. New single, Feel the Love. New yes. single, um, a sort of greatest hits collection, but it's uh, curated by Karen and myself. So we've chosen, we've got the songs. big hits, 40 songs, Four and decades. fan favourites. We've got a coffee table book with it. Uh, we're playing the Palladium. So, yeah. This is I haven't big heard old... it yet. Let's, let's, let's listen to Feel the Love. <laughs> When did you write that? Um, a few months ago. We wrote a, about seven songs and chose a couple for, for the album. We planned doing an ultimate sort of collection for the last few years, really, from when we had sort of a 40th anniversary. It seemed appropriate. But we don't tend to make plans, so we ended up doing an unplanned yeah, studio album. There was album, a vinyl which delay, so everything got put back. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, later and later. But um, album's out next year. What's it like when you two are writing together? Who kind of does what and kind of when you thinking of inspiration or do you go, you know, we know what we're I good at, we know what I works. kind of write a lot of the lyrics, yeah. but we do do some stuff together. It, it's just really easy we because we've done be it for so long. Really positive yeah. in, mm. in these mm. and just positive messages about feeling good about yourself because it can get hard sometimes to feel good about yourself. My, my favourite is being in the studio and just yeah. like directing where the music's going to go and doing all the... Back in vocals, yeah. harmonies, and just arranging stuff. Do you think sometimes when you look back at your body of work, do you kind of uh, look back with some nostalgia that there was a time when pop was pop and there was yeah. a single, and sometimes they were about nonsense? <laughs> and do you feel sometimes like music has got a lot more serious? You know, people, uh, uh, in a good way, often. They're opening their, their souls, they're telling their stories. There's often a lot attached to songs. And the idea of a, a pop <coughs> song could just be a, a, a moment. We've been as... through telling our stories in yeah. songs, in, in some of the earlier ones particularly, and still wrapping it up in a pop song, it's almost like... I People don't, don't notice, People do don't they? Really, yeah, so with, the two with things us. can sit side I by side. I think they can yeah. sit side by side. Yeah. I mean, just because we choose to make melodic pop music doesn't mean we don't have opinions on stuff, obviously. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's all you've got to say. 
But when it comes down to it, I think pop music, you know, when you listen to stuff, it creates a memory of a certain time, whether it's a good time or a bad time or a sad time. You know, there are songs that make you laugh. Do you get that, that a lot cry. when people uh, come up to you and say, Joy. Oh, I remember all, when. all the time. Late yeah. once, go on, late once. But no, just people always come up and say, that that song really got me through a really bad time. Yeah. And I, you, you don't really think about that, but when someone says it to you, you think, you know, and even songs that, there's a certain song that we don't really like playing live, but then people say, <laughs> You know, why why aren't you playing that song? It's one of my favourites. And so we have to stop sort of you know, saying we don't like it and kind of do it. I think it's a bit like Donny Osmond when you he said he didn't like Puppy Love. No, we're not. No. <laughs> 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 but when you, when, you, when you perform it and you see everyone singing yeah. along and waving their arms, you think, yeah, dad, we put it in. But, you know, you can't love everything all of the time. One of the reasons I love seeing those little compilations of their, uh, their older stuff is those days performing Top of the Pops, uh, when you used to have all those bands in one place at, yeah. at one time, and they're they're all they're, you're all backstage. Uh, <laughs> oh <my laughs> come on then, <laughs> you were pointing like and giggling yourself. The cut off sweatshirt and the terrible oh, dancing. Terrible. I've never danced like that. Well, you Why did you? have. <laughs> Who told you to? Who told know. you to do that? I was nervous. <laughs> did you not? Go on. Think, as you can see, we didn't here. go to stage school. <laughs> There's no routine. It, is did there? you not have a conversation about what to do while yeah, the music's playing? We're just playing? stomping, aren't we? The sunglasses, it's such a cringe. You, just, you didn't have any kind of a plan? <laughs> no, no plans. But maybe we very rarely had a plan to do anything. <laughs> maybe that was part of the, the joy of the whole thing, I that think it did so. feel like it was and a I bit like, I like the clips you choose. They're, they're great. You Thanks. Look so Thank sulky. you. I was going to ask about what, what went on behind the scenes at Top of the Pops, because you'd be presumably you might meet people you didn't know very well from other bands that you know yes, I, I remember or... meeting Led Zeppelin and Robert Plant and I'm just like wow this is just yeah. you know because did they know about Banana Armour yeah of course, of course we were on top of the pops <laughs> was there like a hierarchy of like the cool kids and the pop kids and the soul kids and all that or, or did you all just mix we, and no we all just mixed in the 80s it was great i mean we everybody mixed. seemed to be making music we used to hang out with you know, boy george and marilyn and spando ballet everyone went to the same club so it was, it was quite nice that then suddenly we all kind of you know became successful well, imagine that going to a nightclub hey imagine that how yes, awful. thank God we didn't have as many, <laughs> no, not as many paps in those days. Oh, or, yes, or the or attention. Or camera yeah. phones, thank yeah. goodness. Yeah, those because are, it could have been times. horrendously yeah. intrusive. Mm. <laughs> so, um, with, the, with you've got the coffee book, it's, are you going back out touring again? We're playing at the London Palladium to kind of this, this whole package and celebration. This is the party night at the Palladium. Um, April the 3rd, is it? April yeah. the 3rd, day yeah. after my birthday. Yeah. Big celebration. Have to try and not celebrate my birthday. Are we okay with that? It's a big celebration, did you say? <laughs> no. Oh. No. Do you ignore it? No. Is, are you one of those? No, yeah. she doesn't care, really, does No, I've do never really cared about birthdays, age. Just a number, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not interested in the number. We're not even thinking no, about the number. No, it's how you feel. Yeah, absolutely. Today is about 90. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and so the, the, you're, doing, you're doing more performances now. You, are you going to do collaborations with anyone? They call them collabs now, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do you do that I, kind of thing? I don't think we ever did. I think we did something with Paul Weller back in the very early days. Um, That's very cool. I know. What I was know. the story with Fun Boy 3? That was a oh, Of course that was. Yeah. That was brilliant. You had some great yeah. songs. Well, I mean, they really three. helped us up the ladder there because we'd had a demo out prior to that and Terry had heard it on the John Peel show. So he bought it and then contacted us and we just think, why is he contacting us? We're not even proper singers. We've never done anything. And that's, so it was really, you know, nerve wracking meeting him. And he was really shy. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, but it worked. We sang four tracks on their album. And then next minute we know we're on Top of the Pops doing Ain't What You Do. And, he, and now you're here on breakfast. With yes, that fantastic dancing that everyone remembers so well. <laughs> well <laughs> what did you get at the stomp? <laughs> it was... <laughs> I don't yeah. know, it's horrible. I think people copied that, though. That's the thing. Yeah, they so did. You it something, pretty I cool. Lots of people were copying that dance, thinking... Let's just hope not. <laughs> That's how they dance. You're just exactly. making that up. You're making that up now. To make us feel better. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Glad to see Thank you getting the winter you. wear on. You've yes. gone season. Yes. Finally We've back out season. in the pool. Yes. It's a good yeah. feeling, isn't it? It is. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Banana Rama's new single, Feel the Love, you heard it earlier, is out now. New album will be released in March.